command, command to all interior crews, exit the building. Two house fires in Richmond in the span of one week. While these fires were not connected, they both had something in common. 22, the next company go in laying from Lamerson, Jeff Davis, this hydrant is dead. And the 21B, the 21A, give me some water. You heard him say the hydrant's dead. Well, the firefighters who were responding encountered a major obstacle. The surrounding fire hydrants in both those fires did not work. That has led to a problem solver's investigation. Our Sandra Jones puts Richmond's fire hydrants to the test, and she talks to a woman who says she complained about her hydrant before a fire destroyed her home. Started um, inside the attic. <sighs> Mamie Williams used to call this her dream home. I was just crushed. Raising her kids here on Castlewood Road. Every day is, is a cycle of me reliving it. That all changed the night of March 8th. My son came to the door, opened up the door. He's like, Mom, the back porch is on fire. And I just jumped off my bed and jumped like in the hallway and the fire was just blazing. My grandbaby, my mom, my son, everybody just ran towards the front. Firefighters worked feverishly to douse the flames, but they ran into a problem. And Castlewood Command 2, engine 22, go ahead and rail line in, please. 22, the next company go in lay from Lamerson and Jeff Davis, this hydrant is dead. And the 21B, the 21A, give me some water. This fire hydrant at Castlewood and Alexander was out of service. Firefighters had to pull water from another one 200 feet away. I couldn't believe my house was going in flames. All my memories of my kids for nine years growing up in the house, everything was gone. Williams says she had previously reported this hydrant to the city. A couple of times, a couple of neighbors um, had complained about it being out. Nobody responded to it. Okay, well, Richmond, I'm assuming it's going to come in Rose Avenue. One week later, a similar problem on Richmond's north side. 15 Command, we're having problems with the hydrant. Or 15, no water. They were having a, a really tough time dealing with it that evening. When fire engulfs this Rose Avenue home. 15 Command, 15 hydrants dead. We need another unit to pick a hydrant supply 15. They were running around and they were looking and sounding really frustrated. 15 hydrant, water coming. Pete Jones captured the inferno on video. They were actually uh, braced up against my wife's Jeep, which was uh, parked right in front of the house, uh, with fire hoses trying to get towards it when the facade of the house literally just peeled off and almost fell on top of them. Neighbors say firefighters managed to get water from a hydrant a block away. We have two fire hydrants on this block, and if they're not working, yeah, we're all at risk. These two fires prompted the CBS 6 problem solvers to file a Freedom of Information Act requesting fire hydrant repair reports. From January of 2015 to April of this year, Richmond's Department of Public Utilities inspected over 6,000 hydrants in the city. Less than 200 were marked out of service, and 44 fire hydrants were reportedly not working. We are keeping them to the best possible condition for any potential fire at any potential location. DPU Director Robert Stidell says city fire hydrants are inspected every two years and when used by DPU. He says they rely on police, fire and the public to report a problem with any hydrant. We have a logistics center in DPU that's 24-7, 365 that can receive those calls too. So the idea is to make sure that, that we have a person-to-person -person contact. But we found that repairing a broken hydrant can take days, weeks or in some cases several months. Why is that? Well, it's going to be based on the, the workload of the water distribution system. When that hydrant comes out of service, how many more are there around it? Seidel said he could not comment on the problems with those fire hydrants at Castlewood Road and Rose Avenue because of pending insurance claims. But he did tell us safety is their number one goal. The most important thing is, is to make sure that you have adequate infrastructure available for the fire department to make good decisions to decide how they're going to attack their fire and that each one of those hydrants work to its maximum capacity. For Mamie Williams, I mean, it's just an empty feeling. The most important thing is that her family escaped the fire alive, but rebuilding their life will take a lot longer. Everything was in this house, everything. And so now we don't have anything. But us, we got us. Now, DPU officials will soon have dedicated full-time inspectors to reduce the fire hydrant inspection process from two years to one. If you know of a hydrant that's not working,
Call 646-7000 and tell the city where it's located. Working for you, Sandra Jones, CBS 6 News. It really, really touched my heart. On the night of March 8th, Richmond City Councilwoman Reva Trammell captured these images of a burning home on Castlewood Road. If I hadn't have been there on the scene, I would have never thought that anybody got her alive over there. It was all my wrong here. Mamie Williams and her family managed to escape with their lives, but lost everything else. All my memories of my kids for nine years growing up in the house, everything was gone. She wonders if her home would still be standing if not for a huge problem that firefighters ran into. 22, the next company going lay in from Lamerson and Jeff Davis. This hydrant is dead. And the 21B, the 21A, give me some water. It was like some chaos because it was like that fire hydrant down there did not work. They had to come all the way over here, hook up to this one, then hook up to that one. A broken hydrant that Williams tells CBS 6 she had reported before. A couple of times, a couple of neighbors um, had complained about it being out. Nobody responded to it. 15 command, we're having problems with the hydrant or 15, no water. One week later, the same thing happened on Richmond's north side. They were running around and they were looking and sounding really frustrated. 15 command, 15 hydrant's dead, we need another unit to pick a hydrant supply 15. 15 hydrant, water coming. According to neighbors, firefighters had to get water from a block away. That home was destroyed. We have two fire hydrants on this block, and if they're not working, yeah, we're all at risk. Richmond's fire hydrants are checked and maintained by the city's Department of Public Utilities. So CBS 6 filed a Freedom of Information Act request for inspection and repair reports. From January of 2015 to April of this year, DPU workers inspected over 6,000 hydrants. More than 150 were marked out of service for various reasons and 44 were found to be not working at all. They couldn't put water on it. As chair of Richmond's Public Safety Committee, Trammell reviewed our findings, which also show that repairing a broken hydrant can take days, weeks, or in some cases, several months. What do you think about that? That's unacceptable. That is unacceptable. DPU Director Robert Stidell told CBS 6 earlier this month that his department works hard to keep hydrants in good working order. He admits it takes time to fix a broken one depending on where it's located. Well, it's going to be based on the, the workload of the water distribution system. When that hydrant comes out of service, how many more are there around it? So that gives them the intelligent decision is be able to batch their work to be able to go to the right place. Stidell says the city also has a 24-hour logistics center that anyone can call to report a broken hydrant. For Reva Trammell, the smart thing to do is to put the fire department in charge of the hydrants they use every day. Our firefighters will do a follow-up and make sure that it got turned in, make sure that it's working. They can go back out there the next day or two days later and see if they have corrected the problem. Not months later. Working fire hydrants save lives. They save lives. Reva Trammell says she will discuss the city's fire hydrant inspection process with fire officials and the chief at her next public safety meeting. In the meantime, DPU officials have launched a program to have dedicated full-time inspectors to reduce hydrant inspections from two years to one. The city wants you to report a broken fire hydrant. You can do so by calling 646-7000. Working for you, Sandra Jones, CBS 6 News. Candace, we all want to know that a fire hydrant is working near our home. We found this one that needs to be replaced in the city of Richmond. Now, Mamie Williams was at a loss when she found out the fire hydrant on her block was not working. It's unbelievable. I still think about it day by day. Mamie Williams reminisces over the devastating fire. 15 command, we're having problems with the hydrant. Or 15, no water. That reduced her South Richmond home on Castlewood Road to a pile of rubble. But the family survived. It took me two months, basically, to find this home. And um, I just had to rush and hurry, and we got into it. That night, Williams said firefighters ran into a huge problem, a broken fire hydrant that she had previously reported to the city. This is hydrant is dead. And the 21B, the 21A, give me some water. One week later, a dead hydrant here on Rose Avenue forced firefighters no to scramble as another home burned to the ground. A CBS 6 investigation found that Richmond's Department of Public Utilities inspected over 6,000 fire hydrants from January of 2015 to April of this year. During that time, 
nearly 200 were marked out of service and 44 were found to be not working at all. But DPU now tells CBS 6 200 of those hydrants have been repaired and replaced since our report aired. We don't know unless you report them. Reva Trammell chairs Richmond's Public Safety Committee. So happy that you told me that because here it is Christmas and people, you know, with the Christmas trees, the Christmas lights and all that, we need to have those working fire hydrants because of fires. Patio area. And while Mamie Williams feels safe living in her new home, she wants the city to keep up the progress. That's beautiful. It didn't help me then. They need to stay on their job. It's, it starts with them and it starts with the community. We can save a lot of homes from being demolished all the way down to the ground, at least. Now, Reva Trammell says she's working with the new fire chief, public utilities, to make sure that every fire hydrant in the city of Richmond is working. In the meantime, if you notice a broken fire hydrant in your neighborhood, call the city's Department of Public Utilities at number 804-646-7000. Working for you here in Richmond, Sandra Jones, CBS 6 News.